My name is Armando Dibere and my major is petroleum engineering. My name is Jamie Mackin. I am an undecided major right now. My name is Kevin Garcia and I'm studying pre-physical therapy. My name is Monica Passowitz and my major is occupational therapy. Uh, my name is Troy Pearson and I'm a criminal justice major. My name is Ali Sparrow and I'm a theater major. My name is Michael Rawls, my major is radiology. My name is Angelou Asuncion and my major is elementary education. Working with online resources was really helpful, especially because I have a busy schedule. My experience was good. This class is really important for me as petroleum engineer students and I learned a lot of stuff about uh, minerals. As an athlete, I was able to do this at my own pace. It's really a way to kind of not stress over a class because it's, it's all online and you can kind of do it whenever. Oh, the resources really helped me. Um, the case studies, the videos, all the material that we um, were able to get. My experiences in the class was good because it provided what I needed and I didn't need to stress out whatever I have to do for the whole week. Uh, I found the resources to be very helpful and very straightforward. Everything you see in the videos and online is something you're going to use and see again in class. So going through them really carefully helped me a lot. I felt the resources provided not only specifically for what we were working on in class, but what was provided for um, additional work were very depthful, they were diverse, and they helped me learn probably more than I would have if it was limited to just what was strictly on the coursework. It's just a really good way for students to learn the material. Um, and also, it's, it's a, a, f a more effective way, in my opinion, because you don't learn everything in the classroom setting. Um, I would highly recommend this class. As an athlete, I figured this class would be more reliable and easier for me because it worked around my schedule, and I was able to get to the materials I needed late at night coming home from the game. If you're thinking to have a setup similar to this class, you'll be helping a lot of students because we don't need to go outside of resources just to find things to learn the same thing anyway. And you'll be helping, um, I believe it takes a lot of time to build this kind of setup, but you'll be helping yourself and also the students. I would say go for it because it, it provides the students an easy way to like handle all their other classes as well as their lives outside of class. Um, it le it's easy to understand the material and to apply it for every day the student comes to class. If you think it would work for your students, definitely consider it. Um, some courses, it, this style may not lend it to that, but a lot of them I think it does and it makes things a lot easier on students who are trying to balance a busy schedule. I will tell them to go to a class like this because this is the paperless classes, a class that will save them time and help students to do really uh, good with, uh, on this class. I would say that if you are a professor who is teaching a course in which you notice that many of your students have trouble keeping up with all of the material, this would be an excellent avenue to educate them through because it gives students the opportunity to move at their own pace a little bit more and really take time to understand things they may have tried, they may have um, struggled with if they were moving at the pace set at the classes level. I would definitely encourage it. Um, meeting once a week definitely helped my own schedule and the way that we were able to do things at our own pace and ask for questions when we need it definitely helped me learn the material a lot better.